This is a post farmer's market haul snack or this could be considered a meal. 1.5 litres, kara kara, juice, consistency, milk. So what do we got there? We got these uh, esky bags. Uh, Were you drinking yeah. wine out of that? Or? <laughs> no, pure AU. Pure AU water? Yeah. Is that that fancy stuff? Is that that expensive rich man stuff? No, eight dollars and ten liters. Eight dollars. Can't put price on your health call. Can't put price on your health call. So we got one bag full, that's 10 litres of well water straight from St. Ronan's, I'm guessing that's the name of the spring. Yeah. Look at that. It's a big old bag you got there. <laughs> so that's a really great idea for anybody wondering, I've, I've only just learned that you could reuse these. Your 10 litre cast bag thingies or in our case the water that we buy comes in casks. I think it's a great idea. Pristine, all right. It's beautiful. All right, amazing. Look at it, oh, it's beautiful. It's so clear. Oh, it's got a little bit of wood in there. Wood chip? I don't know, something in there. You still want it? Yeah. Also, just it's feel... better than the ride. Done. But where do you get your B12 though? <laughs> Probably this water. Probably this water has B12 in it. So there it is. What does that mean? The peasants were eating, you know, starch based foods like lots of potatoes and vegetables and barley, like simple grains and simple foods, predominantly plant, plant based. Yeah. And the kings and queens were living you know, lavishly and having, they used to sew different animals together and that was their diet. It was just basically a load of animals, eggs, cheese, things like that. So I just imagine like a chicken's body sewn with like to, the head yeah. of a baby goat. Yeah, they used to do that. It was like a delicacy. It was the, the more animals you could put together, the more prestige you were. And Or sadistic. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Depends how you look at it. And it's interesting when you look back at the art of these kings and queens and what they looked like, they are now looking like a modern day man huh. or woman. Yeah. Obese. Who eats meat and <clears throat> things like that. Yeah. And when they when they do archaeological digs and, and try and understand the diets of these people, they find that the servants and the peasants and things like that who ate that plant based diet were among the healthiest. They lived, they had beautiful teeth. You know, they had no presence of atherosclerosis or diabetes or heart disease. And they would die of natural causes as opposed to the kings and queens that were riddled with atherosclerosis. So, I mean, if that's not enough to show you, you know, the people are getting wealthier and now they're adopting a Western diet because they, they can now. They yeah. can afford these animals and, and in, they can afford to import cows from Australia and eat them at large amounts. Whereas before that, they were a developing country or they were a poorer country that relied on rice. And that's why they were so healthy because they. So, peasant food for the win. Eat like yeah, peasants, eat like live a like peasant. a king. Yeah. That's how they should have rolled out the scrolls and said, <laughs> well, we've eat looked like back. Eat like a king, yeah. Eat like peasants, live like a king. That should have been the memento. Mm. But we missed the memo. And I think that's 
important to bring up. In this day and age, we don't try to mimic the obese person. We don't try to get their results. No. You know, we don't... But in, we're eating like we are. But we, we, we still have this <laughs> conditioning in our brains yeah. that says, you know, if you can fill an entire round table with animals, then we should do that because that's a sign of living lavishly. Like caviar, I've written about this. Caviar is viewed as like being ultra classy. And some of the most expensive caviar comes from an endangered species that are nearly, you know, completely extinct. Who's lost the right to do that? So here we are in the forest, Australian scrub, ferns are plenty. <laughs> Fresh air. Ava did a great bow movement. It's just happiness all round, isn't it? <laughs> Check dinner out. We got steamed potatoes in there, some steamed pumpkin, a little bit of steamed carrot. Um, mixed them of this stuff. This was the last of this stuff. Sauerkraut, kimchi. I love this. It's got the right amount of spice, I think. I added a bit more cayenne pepper and um, some curry powder and then I mixed some hummus all the way through it only a little bit just to add some creaminess and some fun just got done doing about 40 k's on the bike so this will be a nice little dinner while I finish editing some footage lunch today was a big smoothie bowl big banana and ice cream shout out to Joey Carbstrong let's eat would you say it was more about justice than it was about compassion 100% way more about justice because I know injustice when I see it, I know oppression when I see it, I know violence when I see it and that's what I saw in the documentary Earthlings and some other footage and that is not cool with me. I'm not going to contribute to that if I don't have to and it's so easy not to so I just decided I'll just be vegan and it made all the sense.